Hey, how's it going guys? This is 1FO here. Today I'm going to be showing you an amazing Roblox Bed War script GUI. And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for almost a week now. I was on a quick break and now I'm back. So I'm going to be back to doing the daily videos. And yeah, so this is the script right here. As you can see, pretty amazing stuff on it. I don't think there's any other working Bed War scripts right now. So this is going to be the only working Bed War script that I know of. Because all the other ones I've tried have been broken. But yeah, so as you can see on the main menu, over here it says main stuff. And before I get any further into this video, if you guys want a free Noki executor, you could either use my free Noki executor called Vega X to run this script, or you could join my 3 keys Synapse X giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away some Synapse X keys, or you could just use a free exploit like I just mentioned. But all those links are going to be in the description. So if you come over here on the main GUI, you're going to see there's some stuff like instantly breaking blocks. So if I go like this, check this box, just clicking on a block is going to instantly break it. And you guys could tell why this is pretty OP because when you're like breaking into someone's bed, you only need a default pickaxe and it's going to instantly break any block they have defending it. So pretty cool. Um, you could also enable anti-knockback. You know, let me turn down my graphics. Okay, so you can enable anti-knockback, and if you're wondering what that does, basically, when someone hits you with their sword, usually it's gonna push you back a bit, and that's like how they're gonna knock you off the map and stuff. But if you enable this right here, the anti-knockback, it's gonna make it so that you cannot get knocked back. So, pretty cool. Um, you could also come over here, and just a quick notice, um, if, you're, if you could tell, my game's getting pretty laggy. I don't really know why that happens, but whenever I use that anti-knockback, it makes my game a bit laggy. So, sorry for that. But if you come over here, you could see there's some more buttons. So you could do auto pickup, which is going to make it so that if you're like, if there's like tools on the ground, or as you can see right now, I'm kind of far away from that iron gen, and it's just still giving me some iron. So pretty cool. You could also buy some wool. So you could like spam click this button, as you can see. And I just have 200 wool right now. Um, you can enable walk speed. I'm not going to do that because it's pretty buggy. But if you're trying to fast bridge or something, you could do that. Um, if you come over here to miscellaneous, there's just a no clip. And this might not seem very useful at first, but it kind of is. Because if you don't want to break someone's blocks, you could just walk right through them. And also, as you can see, if I walk into them and jump, it puts me up on top of them. So... If I couldn't get over a wall, like let's say it was like this high, and I want to get over the wall, you can just go into it and then jump. Oops, okay, like jump, and then boom, now I'm over it. So, pretty cool. You could also disable this whenever you want. And now I don't, okay, I don't know why it's not disabling. But yeah, so usually that works. I guess you're just stuck with it on now. Um, there's an ESP over here, so you can enable this. It's going to give you boxes. You could even make like chams or name ESP. So now I can see everyone's name, and you're always going to know when someone's coming over to your base now. You could also like change some settings, team check, so I could check if anyone alive is on my team. If so, it's going to tell me their name. Uh, you could change the color of this too, so I could make it like blue. I kind of like blue because it's really easy to see, and yeah. So you could also come over here and enable tracers. I don't really like this, but you guys can enable it if you want. And here's the credits for the GUI, so... The guy who made it is Kuri, and the UI library, all this buttons and stuff, uh, credits to Vep, but yeah, so pretty cool stuff, I don't really think there's anything else in this GUI, so I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.